This is my full testing slash review video of the Tops Tahoma Field Knife with a 7 and 3 quarter inch 1095 carbon steel blade with the tungsten coating. The blade is a drop point slash spear point with a top sharpened swedge, which is the purpose is basically just for a backup edge or it also offers better stabbing capabilities for the knife. The handle is micarta which is actually extremely comfortable and as you can see the handle is curved the curvature of the handle allows for comfortable chopping so this piece of wood here that i'm chopping is a pretty hard piece of dry wood i'm not really sure what kind of wood it is it's like spruce or something but it's very hard and dry and dead so basically just testing the edge on this one not really its chopping capabilities Testing the edge, also testing the comfortability of the handle, which I can say the edge held up very well, as you can see, and the handle also is surprisingly comfortable. It does feel a little bulky in hand when you initially grab it, but when actually using it, it feels really comfortable. Despite the knife being a little more heavy than I was anticipating, so this is my first experience with the Topps knife, and I can say I'm so far very impressed. Topps knives are known for their very well built, very well built fixed blades, and this is no exception to that. This thing is probably the fixed blade when it comes to outdoor slash survival use, and it probably has some useful qualities for tactical use as well. Though it, despite it being a little heavy, so here I'm chopping a softer piece of wood which this thing eats through and I heard other people say this knife was very similar to like a hatchet in performance and chopping wise and I can say that that's pretty accurate when chopping here and then also the batoning and splitting category the knife does excellent as you can see I was able to even split a little piece with just pushing it with my hand <laughs> and then interestingly enough the blade also does decently with the feather sticking it's not like super amazing but it can be done and this little stick that I'm feather sticking is kind of a hard dry dead piece of st stick that's probably not the most ideal for feather sticking though I'm not super knowledgeable on that but so this knife I ordered from DLT trading for around two hundred dollars and just do me a favor go to DLT trading or like blade HQ and just look at all the different models that tops offers they have so many different fixed blades and like so many different cool interesting designs there was a few different fixed blades that they sell that I was trying to decide from. And this Tops Tahoma was the one I decided on for a few reasons. They do have another model with the black micarta with the black micarta scale handles. And that model does not have the top sharpened swedge. I wanted the top sharpened swedge just because it seemed cooler, it seems better for self-defense, it seems, I mean, who wouldn't want an extra little bit of edge? The only downside I can see to having the sharpened swedge is it can be a little more of a challenge to baton, but you can actually just let the tip of the blade go through the material while, while batoning closer to the handle, which works just fine, especially with that little bulge hand guard guarding your hand. And the knife does feel amazing in the in hand and then this to the double lanyard system you can put a rope through a bolt and it keeps your grip nice and secure and then you got the flathead screwdriver slash glass breaker which can be used for a number of things and then this little divot in the handle is for a bow drill so yeah absolutely love everything about this knife let me know in the comments what your favorite Topps fixed blade is. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my daily EDC content.